Uh, Andy S on the uh, Mode Zero forum was asking about um, Free Sky V format, simpler, couldn't get it going, so I thought I'd have a go today. So what we've got here is that little tiny thing there on the end of the wires is a uh, CC2500 module. That's the um, that's the one that that does the RF uh, for various protocols, including Corona and and all the Free Sky ones. And then I've got there a that's just a a Pro Mini Strong, and it's it's a it's a five volt, sixteen megahertz one, but I'm running it on three point three volts. So the only power coming in is is to the serial uh, FTDI interface sat on top of it. This thing, and that's three point three volts. Um, now they do work at three point three volts, but maybe not as reliably. But you can run at sixteen megahertz. Uh, Arduino at 3.3 volts and then to provide a um, a PPM stream to it um, like a you'd get out of a decoder I'm actually using this little thing which is a little orange receiver but it's it's one that gives CPPM out so uh, if I switch on a, a tra I've got a spectrum transmitter here which I'll switch on and that's um, obviously transmitting spectrum format and once it gets going this receiver should light up to say it's getting a signal, there we go so that's feeding a stream of uh, PPM signals into here and at the moment this is just running um, a very cut down version of Pascal's uh, multi-program but I've chopped everything out except for the Free Sky V protocol um, and then here we've got a Free Sky uh, V receiver and a battery and a servo and you can see that uh, the way the Free Sky receivers work these old ones a solid red light means it's receiving a signal um, and a, uh, if I switch the uh, orange transmitter off we lose the PPM signal but that goes into failsafe so it's still actually transmitting and we've still got a signal here but if I take the power off the um, off the whole Arduino then you can see the free sky one which is running on a battery just starts to flash so I'll, I'll repower the Arduino now sorry about the shaky camera, I can eat both hands uh, so that's started up, even though it's not receiving a signal from the orange it's transmitting and the free sky is on and it's gone into its fail safe and if we have a look on this little uh, spectrum analyzer thing which is upside down, but never mind. Uh, there we go. You can see it's transmitting. Now, when I switch on the uh, the spectrum transmitter to provide the CPPM, it'll tend to drown that out because it's a much stronger signal. Anyway, the upshot of all that is that if I move the stick on the transmitter, the servo moves. Um, because we've got transmitter transmitting into that orange receiver, PPM stream into there, that's transmitting on the little CC2500 module, um, that's being picked up by the Free Sky receiver, uh, and that's driving the server. So it does work. A uh, hint to Andy S is. Um, you might want to play with the fine tuning that's what uh, finally got mine to work so if I show you the the source code for Pascal's multi-challenger I can get the damn thing to focus 
you can see there in this is in config.h just try adjusting that force free sky tuning in steps of uh, 20 at a time until it works and if you're using a well the other the other good tip is uh, if I just scroll this down a bit if I can find the bit uh, so comment out all the protocols except for free sky V uh, comment out all the um, installed chips except for CC2500 in the bit where it's looking at the multi-position uh, switch to decide which protocol to run paste the free sky V into every possible position um, I think that's all you need to do there and then on the Arduino it uses the uh, pins uh, 10, 11 and 12 and A naught for the um, for the multi-position switch so rather than having them float around you can see I've fitted little links onto 10, 11, 12 I've pulled low with those little black short links then I've pulled A naught high with this longer black wire and then to put it into bind you have to link pin 13 to ground, that's the bind, it's the LED but it's also the bind button and then you connect your um, you connect your module up, well if it's the same as mine uh, you have to connect ground 3.3 volts um, on this one I've done black is ground okay, if you can see those wires, next wire is red which is 3.3 Next one is Mosey orange. Uh, it doesn't go to the Mosey pin on the Arduino. It goes to D5. Um, and the next one is the um, the clock. It's called RFSCL. That's green, and that goes to D4. And uh, the next one is blue, uh, and that's Miso, and that goes to D6. And then the um, pin six and seven are not connected, and then pin eight is RFCS. That's not a chip select, and that goes to D7. And you can see the um, PPM input stream is on D3. So, what I'll probably do now, now I know the right tuning, I'll try and simplify down the. Uh, you know, chop everything out of this multi protocol now except for the Free Sky V and maybe make it um, perhaps do the fine tuning with a pot so you don't have to edit it and upload. Uh, and then the other thing that might be useful would be to, you know, use this as an encoder board. We could probably put, um, you know, there's probably plenty of room to put Phil's, one of Phil's um, Arduino encoders either for proportional or single channel and then with uh, just an Arduino and one of these CC2500 things uh, we can link to a free sky V receiver um, this this one is is got an antenna on the board I don't know if you can see that it's going to be fairly low range but you can get you can get some of these with a little power amplifier and a proper SMA uh, antenna on them so I suppose if you were going to make your own free sky V uh, transmitter that would be the way to go but the, the main thing you can't stress enough 5 volts will kill this thing so don't let any more than 3.3 volts anywhere near the Arduino everything there is all running off this um, 3.3 uh, volts FTDI and I checked it out it really is only 3.3 volts on all the wires the receive 
transmit and the DTR, everything is 3.3 volts on that particular one. If you have to use a 5 volt Arduino, uh, you need to put some level changes in between the Arduino and the CC2500. And the other way to go might be to use a, a different chip. ESP32 or 8266 or uh, uh, I don't know a, a different Arduino, the uh, Arduino Due or something.